guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen. Today I'm sharing with you guys some more DIYs using the wood decor items from Dollar Tree. I also used a bunch of stuff from my stash, so let's jump right into the video. For this DIY, you'll need this truffle color paint in Waverly chalk paint, and then I'm just mixing it with some water. You could definitely do this with acrylic paint. It doesn't matter. This is just an easy way to make stain. This works great when you're using the wood pieces from Dollar Tree. And if you wanted to use real stain, you could definitely do that, but this comes off your hands. It's just paint. You could use acrylic paint. You don't have to use chalk paint. Uh, this is just what I, this is the color I wanted to use. So that is why you did this. And I'm just going to be painting four of these crates. These are from Dollar Tree and obviously, because you know, we're doing a Dollar Tree DIY. So, you know, I guess that would make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> I don't know why I would say everything is from Dollar Tree, but just in case it isn't, I will let you know. But anyways, I'm going to be painting four of these crates with this DIY stain. The next thing I'm going to do is take the Waverly chalk paint in ink and I'm be painting four of these wooden dowels from, you guessed it, Dollar Tree. Uh, I just had these left over from different DIYs. I feel like I've never used a wooden dowel, but maybe because all I had was four left, thankfully. And then once everything was painted and dry, I'm just taking two of the crates, gluing them together, and I'm also going to be doing this with the other two as well, just some hot glue. You can use wood glue you could use whatever you want i just think that this works out just fine if i just use hot glue and then i'm just gonna be gluing the sides or the edges of each crate and adding these dowels this is gonna make a fun little stand highly recommend when you do this is that you just maybe glue each side first with wooden dowels and then start on the second side because when I was trying to squeeze this in between these wooden dowels it did fall apart and I did have to go back in and fix it be a little more safe a little more careful uh, just because it just was not lining up the way I wanted it to so like I said I'd rip it apart so I would do two wooden dowels on one side glue them to the top and the bottom crate move on to the other side and do the exact same thing and I think it will work out way better for you than it did for me I'm just going to be taking this sign from Dollar Tree. It says Fresh Flower Market. It is new this year. And I'm just going to be putting it right in the center of this just to give it a little bit extra. I could have did more crates in between, but I just did not like that. So, uh, yeah. So, this is what it looks like when it's done. Fresh Flower Market. You have some greenery. You could put a ton of stuff in here. You don't really have to add greenery, but, you know, I'm just kind of going for the home decor feel. But if you wanted it to be more functional, you could add essential oils, paints, whatever you wanted to this or you can even make like a tiny little herb garden. Either way, this is so cute and I love how this turned out. This DIY, I'll be using these poster stickers, a sign from Dollar Tree, the truffle colored Waverly chalk paint once again. I'm going to be painting the back side of this Easter sign and for the poster stickers. So my friend Nicole from the Weeks Nest, she did this, I want to say like a year or so ago on her channel. If you don't have all of the stickers, because obviously like I probably wrote farmhouse a million times with these, so I didn't have all the stickers to do welcome. So I'm going to be making a cute little welcome sign with this sign along with a wooden crate. And all you have to do is just cut out the pieces. So like the WE you're going to see, and I'm making them into stencils versus using the actual sticker. So you're kind of getting like more for your money or your bang for your buck if uh, you do it this way, which I think this is an absolute genius, genius way. This is uh, another crate from Dollar Tree. They have different crates. They have ones with the, the holes in them or the cracks in the middle. They have ones that don't. I prefer these, but they can be kind of hard to find. Then I'm just taking some Waverly chalk paint in white, and I'm just going to be painting in the welcome and then peeling these right off. The, the stencils didn't really work in my favor. I was using like a larger paintbrush, making a dang mess with it. So, you know, once I peel these off, I realized that there was kind of paint on the sides. I could have went back in and I could have just used the truffle painted over it. No big deal. But I thought that I would kind of do like a, oh, what do we want to call it? 
like a messy effect slash like a distress type look. You know what? I kind of mix my words up sometimes. So we're just going to go with like a fun, like distressed look. You can kind of see like the W's off. Once I peeled all this back, I was like, yep, definitely going to do this like distress type method for sure. And this is what it looks like when it is done. I think this is super cute. You could hang this next to your door outside. I'd like to know when you guys hang stuff on your siding, do you actually put a hole in your siding? Because that really bothers me. I always want to hang like fun signs and stuff, but I don't want to put a hole in my siding. I just, siding is expensive. Nobody wants to do that. But this would be super cute next to your door outside. For the next few DIYs, I'm going to be using these calendars from Dollar Tree. So I picked them up last year. I know they're hard to find, but you know, I haven't really used them. I've used them for maybe one DIY, maybe two tops. And I'm like, I have these. I might as well use them. Try to start using up my trash, start using up my trash, my trash, my trash, my craft stash. We can call it trash too. It doesn't really matter what you want to call my stash. Just going to be using four of these canvases, tearing them apart. You could definitely do the reverse canvas, keep the canvas. I chose not to, but it's definitely just however you prefer to work these canvases. I just wanted the wood underneath. Once I kind of ripped the canvases off, these are probably the worst canvases I ever had. They were so rough. I had to do some sanding, just a really hot mess. I decided to pick up four or pick up, pick out four of these different like uh, animal prints. I thought these were cute. We have ducks, so I always love using ducks whenever possible. We got some geese. I'm not really a goose fan. They're, they're kind of nasty. They're kind of mean, so um, I don't prefer them, but I thought these were super cute anyways, and don't mind the pumpkins because I'm going to cut around them. So yeah, you, you didn't really see everything because, I don't know, sometimes stuff is self-explanatory where I don't really want to go in depth. Here's the truffle paint once again. I was really feeling it this day, so you're gonna see a lot of that going on. And all I did was just paint all four of the canvases in this exact color. Next, I just have some scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what the price is anymore of it. I would tell you it's four for a dollar, but people have told me that it is not four for a dollar anymore at Hobby Lobby. Like, what is up, Hobby Lobby? You get rid of your coupons, you get rid of your good prices on your scrap of paper. I don't even know what to say anymore. But anyways, I just cut the scrap of paper down a size to fit into the canvas frames. And then I did cut all around the animal pictures or, yeah, animal pictures. Because I did not want the backgrounds showing. Yes, you're going to see a little bit of the background. But you know what? The ducks like water. So we had to leave a little bit of it in. And then I just cut them down just to make sure that the frame wasn't going to cover them. And I'm just using a glue stick for all this. And then once these were all done and good to go, I just took some hot glue and glued the scrap of paper and these cute little animals to the canvases. And I did always put the canvas over the top before I glued just to make sure it was going to fit because I did have to cut them down a couple times. You're going to see the geese didn't have the longest necks in the world because they were going to be covered by the canvas. So anyways, you guys, um, <laughs> that's what I did here. Just a little bit of gluing, a little bit of hot gluing. That's it. All right, so once everything was nice and glued, I'm just doing a little bit more gluing. I'm gluing two of the canvases together, then I'm going to glue all four of them together. See, the great thing about Dollar Tree wood pieces is that they're not always the same size. Sometimes they're a little wonky. Sometimes, you know, they're not going to fit perfectly. I did have a little bit of issue because these were just a tiny bit off, but I made it work. It's okay. Using the Waverly Chalk Paint Ivory, I'm going to be dry brushing. So you guys, if you want to talk about Waverly chalk paint for a second, I've had so many people say that Walmart clearanced their chalk paint out of the store. No more Waverly, all gone. I don't know. Are they getting different labels? Are they discontinuing it? I don't know. But my Waverly chalk paint is still full price and fully in stock. So 
I I don't know what's going on with your guys' Walmarts. A cute little chalkboard sign, some little stickers from Walmart. I made Farm Fresh. Cute little thing for the center. I thought this was kind of plain, so I thought you know, we'd spice it up a little bit. Greenery for the top of the Farm Fresh chalkboard sign. I just made like a little bow with twine wrapped around my fingers, tied it. I mean, it, it's just like a really quick twine bow. I'm not a bow professional, so I really don't like showing how I make bows on my channel. It's kind of a secret. Usually I just buy them. So uh, yeah, it's definitely not a secret. I usually just buy them. But this is what this looks like when it's done. I love this one. I love when I can incorporate farm animals with my DIYs because they are just my absolute favorite. Here is a Valentine's tag sign. I actually already painted this and I never did anything with it. It is the Waverly chalk paint and moss and then I just dry brushed it with some Waverly chalk paint in white and then I cut out this cow. This is actually the front of the calendar because I used a cow for a previous DIY but like I said I keep everything and this was really time to you know get rid of some of these calendars but I this has to be one of my favorite DIYs. Maybe I should have put it on like a different kind of sign but I think this is so stinking cute. My daughter Scarlett uh, had to let me know that I did not cut out some of the background of the cow. She goes, that's not the cow. So I did actually go back, uh, fix that. Farmer's market sign. This is from Dollar Tree as well. And all I did was hot glue it right next to the cow. And that is it. wooden piece was 99 cents from Michael's and I obviously cut out part of a calendar as well this cute little barn and I'm just gonna be gluing it to the bottom here but before that I will be painting with the Waverly chai paint I want to say this is celery it could possibly be moss so I'm pretty sure it's celery because it's a little bit lighter and I'm just going to be painting this entire thing I kept the clip on it because I thought the clip was kind of fun and you can always repurpose this so if you didn't want it as like a picture frame you could always clip like your receipts to it pictures I mean really whatever you wanted to but sometimes I think it's just not worth ripping apart what is already there just in case because you never you never know what you're going to want it for and then if you didn't want it as a you know as a home decor piece and you know you rip the thing off you're going to throw it away so multifunctional right here glue sticking it again with the calendar yes it you know really takes a professional to glue the back side of a calendar uh but i loved this color this like celery color for the background of this it does look a little plain i didn't really want to add much but i did end up dry brushing just a little with a waverly chalk paint and hazelnut and i think that kind of just topped it off because it kind of matched like the bottom of the browns and you know i mean I kind of used too much paint right there, but I kind of just went with it. I liked it. it. It's definitely fine. And I think this just is a cute little nice decor statement piece. That's all I did here. That was, it was like the easiest $1 decor piece I've probably ever made. This DIY, you'll need two of these wooden arrows, two of these boxes. It doesn't really matter which ones you use. We just had the stars. Waverly chalk paint and celery. Paint these arrows. Definitely paint the other side as well because you will want to. Uh, when I started putting this piece together, I realized I didn't paint the back side. Had to go back, do it later. So, you know, I'm just like fair warning you. You're going to want to paint both sides because you're going to see both sides. Just painting Waverly chalk paint, or maybe this is this Waverly. It's chalk paint. It's white. It, it doesn't matter which one I use. Rust-Oleum, Waverly, it's all white chalk paint. Um, but I'm just painting both the boxes white. You could definitely choose whatever color you want, but this is just, you know, this is like the feel I have this spring and summer. It's just this like 
green color, the whites, the the stained like brown looking pieces. Like those are my colors this summer. I don't really do a whole lot of like fun, vibrant, bright colors. Like this is as vibrant as it gets around here. This is where I realized I needed to go back in and paint the arrow, but I'm just gluing each side down to the arrow. Then I will glue the other arrow right on top of the boxes. This makes a really fun, like functional stand. This is the same thing. You could put makeup in it. You could put paint in it. You could put pictures in it. You could put decor in it. You could put candles in it, spices. I mean, there's so much you could do. I just choose to put greenery in it because one, it kind of is like a cute little like statement piece on YouTube possibly. Like when you're watching my videos, you're like, oh, that's a really cute decor piece because this says decor in your title. But uh, for sure, you could definitely add whatever you want into these. This is just a really easy way for me to uh, show you guys what you can put in here. You could definitely probably add another tray if you wanted to, but I chose two using some rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. This one says home. I'm getting really, really crappy, crappy. I'm getting really poor, getting really bad with these rub-on transfers. I was like a professional for a while and then I don't know what it is, but they start slipping from my fingers and pulling off when they're not supposed to. So they're pretty tricky, but once you get the hang of it, they are really, really easy to use. And I do prefer to use these versus like a stencil just because you don't have to wait for nothing to dry. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this brand new wood DIY video. If you guys like these wood videos, these crate videos, these tray wooden videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love you consider sticking around and subscribing. Till then, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.